Hi people, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Um, my name is Melu Nif and welcome back to another video. Guys, you already know what's up with the title of this movies. I'm back again with Ghana vs Nigerian things. Guys, let's just say the truth. Ghanaians, we misunderstanding Nigerians. Yes. Was it so hard for you guys to just accept a simple things? This thing just feel like you are liars. Guys, it's not all of you. Some were liars. Why is it so hard for you to just accept common things that you know that was the, it was the truth? I kept saying this thing and you guys were just taking it so, so hard. I can feel it like you had this... I don't, I have this hatred. I don't, some people have this hatred. And why is all this? Someone actually told me that the reason for all these things was because all nations in the world, okay, all nations in, in this world, we all know that all nations in this world have their own crime history. No one can say, okay, our home is clean. We, we are clean. We don't have anything as the case. No, everyone have their own, one or two particular crime history that they have in their home maybe presently self not only in history it happened in the history and they still have they still have it presently you are not saints so why are you taking this thing too further like i don't understand you keep making me to be repeating the same things and to be saying the same things i don't know why truth was so bitter for some people to the extent that they can't even accept the truth they know the truth but they wouldn't want to accept it was it that hard for you? Just some, just common things. I just said, okay, Nigeria have bad sides. That is true. And Ghana to have bad sides. How was that an insult or abuse? Why do you, why are you feeling humiliated because of that? Wasn't it true? Don't you have your own bad side? I'm not fighting for, you know, this thing was not even something for country versus country. Let's just talk. Let's say the, the fact. The fact was that this thing was be is between we people, like Nigerian peoples, peoples in Nigeria, and peoples in Ghana. It's between us. This thing, we are holding it. You guys were taking it too further. You are taking it personal. D that country doesn't have anything to do with this. But people, some peoples in that, that country, inside that country, what do you want to gain from it? So someone actually told me that it's not because of the crime Ghana, Ghana hates Nigeria for. It's their old colonial mentality of having independence first before Nigeria make them think they are better off. Well, that one doesn't have to concern me. Maybe you are you think you are better, you are you are thinking you're not better. Everyone used to think of themselves as a better person or as something that was special and better. So I don't have any issue with that. Then he actually has a point A. That's why I want to read this. Is their hold okay? In 1954, Nigerian Sultan rejects Nigerian independence because they don't want the nation with the northern parts, with the northern parts of Nigeria, because of their Islamist colonia. That was in the past. All this thing was in the past. I don't see any reason why you guys should be holding grudges. What has happened between our great grandfathers that they have done, they have, they have gone? You still have that poison mind on you. Ha! Ha <laughs> ha! Oh, <laughs> really? During this hard time of Nigeria, many Nigerians went into Ghana, into Ghana, that had their independent first. But then Ghanaian president started depart started deporting Nigerian refugees. At the time, Nigeria still under colonial. Ghana was deporting Nigeria. Okay, Ghana was deporting Nigeria. But I heard an information of something like they said that Nigeria, Nigeria was sending Ghana or something like that. Okay. In 1960, Nigeria sort of accepts independence than revenge. Then, re then revenge on Ghana must go. In the 80s, even create a bag called Ghana must go and bag. I know about that and bag like it's like it is. Okay, I know that's what they call Ghana must go. I've been even wondering to know the meaning of that and like what is the meaning of this bag? Why did they know this name this bag Ghana must go? So I think I finally find out the 
reason why they named it Ghana must go so I just think this thing was like <laughs> you don't need to take this thing so personal this thing was like since our great grandfather did to each other they do it to themselves like Ghana do me and Nigeria do you do me I do you that's what they do and it has done so why are you still taking back on holding back on things that has already gone the past why don't we just start and be living in the present why so Ghana feel so Ghana feel the humiliation since now they now they are making another mistake again Nigeria must go the, okay now they are making another mistake again Nigeria must not act with Nigeria must not act with vengeance hmm? was that correct vengeance yes but go forward to white Africa this is what our traditional kingdom is, is shout in our Nigeria greater Africa population was made for Nigeria don't compete with Ghana's or other Africans. Yes, Nigeria were many. Some people, someone actually comment on the video. I told me that I was taking an excuse at that Nigeria was like people were many in Nigeria. That that is why Nigeria was not that better than Ghana. What do I mean? Was that are we many than Ghana and than Korea, bro? At least before you talk, sometimes people need to be like just think think like what this thing i want to say and just still listening again so you can understand better this wasn't the matter of when what are you calling it this wasn't the matter of korea or whatsoever you call it now so do you think the opportunity korea have is what we have okay i mean i was talking about korea and he said is it not korea yeah so when you're talking about them that okay are, are we many than them it's like just someone like that please maybe chinese or koreans okay china if we're not many than china what about you are you many than china are you even an average of um uh, what are they calling them china and why don't you be better than china if that is what you want to bring out like okay are we many than china how do you want to know if we are many than china or not okay you know we are not many than china then you that were even smaller than china do you have what china have so don't bring what doesn't even what wasn't it and be using something to be humiliating people just this thing just sound like you have i've been seeing you know this you know, these people have a lot of hate hatred what do you want to get from it you guys were just pretending like both sides was pretending like okay eh, we ghana was better ghana was better you know you, you guys were pretending like that but nigeria too were pretending to be covering you up that wasn't the solution to all these things they were pretending to be covering you up and be saying oh this all oh, these things they know that's what you want and nigeria mission is to unite black africa on high on it i be hard anyhow yes nigeria wasn't even ready to be doing this thing with you like to be having an a fighting or something like that we we don't hold any grudges yes you can feel it we don't hold any grudges but you do hold grudges i don't know what you really want to collect from it when it happened to our great grandfathers then what did they gain from it just think about it what did they gain from it so why are we still continuing with that step that doesn't even benefit the step that doesn't benefit them why do we have to continue with it we can just live as one our home which you just live on our home we does not need to just hang in there and be like i'm like okay oh eh, this is it eh, ghana this is this one is ghana this is nigeria and if you go to anywhere they'll be asking you are you in nigeria or ghana that is very simple are you in nigeria or ghana if you're in nigeria tell them you're Niger- you ghanaian tell them you're ghana that doesn't have any problem so you don't need to be doing this thing i don't really understand why you are taking this thing forward okay you keep saying nigeria with the bad crime nigeria ha nigeria who nigeria this okay I heard about and I saw about the pastors in Ghana that they said they are using they are whatever when they want to do deliverance for ladies they are offering their pint they are doing you know this kind of thing opening your body for pastor are that happening in Nigeria 
I'm asking you. Was that not part of your own too? Your own, you know, someone actually said that they also had their own problem that things are very coarse, can you come, can you come, is, and it's also part of Ghana people. And it was being truthful. So I don't even ask you to say yes or no. But know in your mind, you personally know in your mind that, okay, this is true. This is not true. If you are to comment, don't comment mean comments. You know what that mean comments mean? It breaks my heart and wants me to keep doing more because I will stand on my own. I will stand on my rights. This is African together. I have the right to talk about African entirely because I'm an African. And it's just for her to just accept it. Like, okay, two plus two is equal to four. So we're saying, no, you need to calculate it. Just take two like this, take two like this. You definitely know that it's four already. So why do you still have to be doing, okay, you take two like this? It's simple to count. One, two, three, four. What is it? What do we want to gain from that? I don't understand this thing. I, I don't know why you're taking it to food. And some Nigerians were like, they also be like, oh, you Ghana, what do you have? You don't have anything in your country. Your country that was more. Your country that was sick. Your country, some people, even, someone even said, someone comments and said to me that, Ghana people, there are a lot of poor people there. That country wasn't good. Better don't go there. Don't go and waste your money for nothing. You two, hey, that thing. How will you free any hey, that thing about your own country? And you talking about it about other country? Someone actually comments that comment as well. Yes. And I saw a lot of people coming against him. He chose to ignore you guys and didn't even say anything anymore. So why can't you just ignore some things that doesn't necessary? Or that you feel like you, you just can't just ignore things? You can't just ignore things. You guys, we are, we are misunderstanding ourselves. And that's why this thing was feel like something that was even calling, calling like together. That is not even easy. That's not even, so it feel like something that has tangled and it's not easy to lose. When you're trying to lose it, you are still taking it, you are still tackling it again. Like, I don't know. What do you want to gain? Exactly my question. Because I do not understand what you want to give from it. Misunderstanding each other, having interest from it, each other. Like, okay, she said this to me, I will say this to them. They said this to me, I will say that to them. That was not making any sense. I don't see any common sense in that sense. I don't know. We can do better, guys. Keeping up with this kind of comments will keep me going. So, some well, someone actually said I should stop making video about Ghana. I said it in other videos as well. Well, I'll keep making video about Ghana. Only if you don't bring up anything that will make me make video about Ghana. If you bring up anything, your people also bring up this thing that make me come to be filming about Ghana as well again. So if you still bring something up about it, I will still come and I will still record and I'm still going to video, do a video about Ghana. And someone comments on my video, one of my videos, I said, this thing you are saying, eh? you only have Nigerian people by at your side. You won't have supportive. Really? So you think I'm doing that to have supportive of everyone? <laughs> well, no matter how nice you even be, like, even, no matter how you even know how to lie, some that will not support you will not support you. And people that will support you will support you. As for me, I want real people. Real peoples. And I want people that correct me when I make mistakes. I don't want to be like those like people that will be like innocent so that they wouldn't even have an idea of what they were doing. They wouldn't even know themselves. And they'll keep doing this. I know what we even correct or tell them that, oh, this is who you are. This is what you are doing. No. I don't want people like that. I want someone to be truthful. If you are to be truthful, what will you how would you describe me? Comment down below if you feel like. And if you are me, thank goodness. I have the right to block you. Mm. Yes. I have the right to block you. If you are really, if you really you and I also have the right to delete the comments. You know it. If you are going to be truthful. Be truthful. If you are not going to be truthful, then it's not by force. You may not comment. And if you want to comment, I don't say you shouldn't say when I say something like when I make mistakes. It's, but it's not something like you just come for me for one or two things and come here to just be, I don't know, feeling like maybe jealous. I don't know. Should I call it jealous? Or maybe you feel like 
and we, uh, um, I'm important, we are important that. and he needs to talk about us because we have this we have electricity we don't bring the matter of electricity here because you guys always bring something yeah, again whenever I do video I was talking about something different you are going to be bringing about something different talk about the topic I was talking about don't go to other side to be using something to just cover things I, I don't like it I don't really like like this if you want to be like this, be like this. If you want to be like this, be like this. Stop doing like this. I don't like it. So, if I'm going to be true too, you can feel free to say, even if I was wrong, tell me, I like to be corrected. But no mean things that you just come here and be insulting me. No, I block you from commenting to any of my big videos. Yes. Or... I delete your comments. Is that your comment was wasted? Because I would delete it. No one will see. You won't see or read it when I've already deleted it. So <sighs> this is not the matter of something like that. But whatever whatever you do, you need to be thinking about others, like thinking about others' emotion. Don't just call me for like I was talking about something, you'll be talking about other people and come here and say, Hey, can you come? She said this, she said that. Hey, you don't see anything. You don't see, do I see, am I going to see everything people say? If you say that was when I was going to go and check and see. But it's if it's what I see, I will talk about it. So what's how is that so hard?